library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add animations in the buttons and change the color and size of button when highlighted and pressed in an easy and simple way. First thing, you have to add a canvas and then add the button. Put the canvas on the workspace mode. You need to add the animation window. You can find it from window options up there. Now let's add a text in the button. I'm going to write button 1. Let's make the button in a proper position and size. Change the x, y, z values. Make it 5. Then reposition it with the help of moving tool. Okay. Now it looks so perfect. Now let's start making uh, the animation for the button. Go to the button inspector, button bar, and choose animation from transition options. Press on the auto generate animation button. You will see a small window for saving the animation. Name it whatever you want and press save. Go to animation window and make sure you are selecting the button you want to add animation on it. Here you can see many options for adding animation. Let's choose highlighted from animations options. Press the recording button and change the XYZ values. I'm going to reduce the original size to 3.5. Also, I'm going to change button color to light blue. Now let's make animation when the button is pressed. Again, press recording button and change XYZ values. I will make it 5.5 this time. Then I'm going to change the color to blue. Finally, let's select disabled option to make the button with no functions so the user can know that this button is disabled. Change the color to red. So now we finished three different animations. When button highlighted, press it and disable. I will change the text color to be more clear. And let's play the project to test animation. This is how it looks when highlighted and this is when we click or press the button. It seems perfect. Now let's make three different buttons to test these different animations. Change the position for each button. Change the button text for each one. Now let's test the result. You can see the differences in the size and color when button highlighted. And this is when we press the buttons. The color and size change. Now let's disable one of the buttons. And check the interactable of the button you want it to be disabled. You can see that this button has no functions when pressed or highlighted. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.